Hi, Kevin. Good evening. I know I look like a, a hard five right now. Hey, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. How are you? What do you good. What do you got for me? I want to start off. I really appreciate your podcast as well. I learned so much from you and I love the tough love. I'm starting to think that maybe I shouldn't have like any expectations whatsoever. I'm like, you know, listening to you, I'm starting to realize that I do have two children. My children are 12 and 14. Okay. And, you know, I really haven't really accomplished much. I'm 33. Should I expect anything? Or should I just... What do you mean you have like, What do you do for a living? I, well, I'm currently, like, unemployed. I haven't really had, like, a good career. I've just had, like, little, like, cashier jobs here and there. I'm not really... Where do you live? Who do you live with? I live with my mother. And you asked me what you should expect in a man? No, I'm just trying to think that I should probably have no expectations, right? Of a man or a relationship? Hmm. Both? Don't they go hand in hand, coincide? Well, they're different. Okay. If you, if you do, you know, do you want to, do you expect to get a relationship? And if so, then what kind of man? Okay. So I guess that this is the things I don't have planned. I don't know. What are, what are the children? How many children? How many fathers? One, one father. Where's he at? He's not around. He's like, he 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 had another child after me. Okay, so I gotta ask, how are you gonna be thirty three with two kids and no child? How? Well, mm -hmm. I live with my mother. I'm currently on unemployment. Yeah. Um, I think you, the answer is uh, the first thing you need to do is, and I mean no disrespect, you gotta get this adult thing together. You gotta be able to take care of yourself. Because mm -hmm. your mother has has already raised you, now she's raising you again with your grand with her grandkids. Right. No man worth his salt's gonna come in and deal with an unemployed woman with two kids. Right. So I don't know what you mean about having an expectation. Well, okay, so I've guessed I'm guessing like okay, so from that from so I haven't had expectations. So my of mother said I've been doing is I've been dating the underdog. Okay. And which doesn't end well. How old is your mother? Mm, 54. And where's her husband? Oh, uh, my dad passed. How long ago? When I was 14. Okay, so it's been quite a while. Where's her boyfriend? She, has, she hasn't, like, dated or anything. Oh, you want to get her out? <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just saying your mom, bless her heart, really is not in a position to give you advice. See, what, what you're in is a position with a, a mother... Mm -hmm. And you're not her relationship. So she has no problem with her grown daughter mm -hmm. and her grandchildren being in the house because she has no man. Mm -hmm. You aren't doing anything. You said you're on unemployment? Mm -hmm. When was the last time you had a boyfriend or anything like that? Last year. Okay. Which is, you don't really need one. you got to be able to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. So expectations of a man, ma'am, you're not taking care of yourself, much less your children, so you can't have expectations of a, of a man. Of anyone, right. Mm -hmm. I mean, if your mother were to put you out, mm -hmm. so when's the last time you held a job? Um, Like a year ago, I was cashier. Okay. And are you, is there an injury or something? No. So no, just, just I was I was fired for being late. So you just lazy? No, no, it was. So you just trifling. I, I was late. I was I was just. So late. you trifling? Maybe, yeah. Okay. Are you trolling me? <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. no I, let me I, see I, your hands. Let me see your hands. Put those up. Uh oh, nice fingernails. Thank you. Did you do those yourself? No. You went and got them done? Mm-hmm. Who paid for that? I paid for them. With what? With the unemployment money. Are you trolling me? No, but Kevin, don't you think I have to look like something? No, I think right? you need to I think you need to grow up. Oh, okay. Ma'am, you're thirty three years old and haven't had a job in a in a year. Okay. And the job you had as a cashier, you got fired from being late. Mm -hmm. That's lazy and that's trifling. Mm -hmm. 
If you were a, if you were a man, they would call you a deadbeat. But the only reason you get away with this is because you got two kids and you get unemployment, so you're juking the mm -hmm. state. Mm -hmm. And you got the nerve to have these fingernails up like you got money to pay for them. That's trash. But don't you think you should, that as a woman you should like look like something? For who? You know, just for like for your mama and your kids, you ain't going nowhere, you ain't doing nothing. I just this is the entitlement. This is the entitlement and delusion. Mm -hmm. The taxpayers are paying for this. Well, well, your money goes for unemployment. But I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. But you came on saying having expectations, and I'm like, at what point do you plan on getting into life and start being an adult? All right. I mean, uh, I hope, hope. I mean, yeah, you know, you're 100 right. I know. And where'd you get the phone? I bought it. With whose money? With my money. Is it is it like prepaid service or something? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm not. Mm -hmm, I'm not. Okay, ma'am. Um, I don't. There's no. I mean, I think you know the answer, but um, no dating. Um. That's not realistic. Mm -hmm. And there's no way a 33 year old woman should, with two kids, should have enough pride to be going to get her nails done. I think you should know that though. But I feel like with some things, you should have to, a woman should be kept. It's like, you know. For just, who? Uh, huh? For whom? Just in general, like uh, like you said, like, you know, lady should be a lady. I feel like, you know, it's one of the things that a woman should just, you know, I would have had my kids of us not, but a woman should just, you know, have like certain upkeep. That you, you can't afford to pay for. Mm -hmm. I mean, seriously, if you were in a country that didn't have such a, a welfare system, I got a call, but no, I need to hear if this. You if, you didn't have, if we didn't have such a welfare system, you know, if you were in a country that did not, where people, healthy, physically able women. Well, no, I would, I would, I would have a job right now. It's just that I, it's just that, um, you know, because of like the the pandemic hit. So I don't want to go. I, I don't, oh, don't want to go back I don't want to hear that. I don't want. Now, what state are you in? New Jersey. Right. Uh, when's the last time you applied for a job? Um, I was working last year. When was the last time you applied for a job? Um, so probably, oh, I, I, like last week. Last week I applied for um, front desk at a hotel. And how many applications did you put in last week? I only put in the one. One whole application. When 140,000 women last month lost work. You put in one application. Well, guys, um, it's not uncommon. I wish I could say she was trolling, but um, I I've seen this before. No, she's not lying. She's not lying. Trust me, she's not lying. I've seen plenty of females like this.